I don't know about you, but my bikes are my pride and joy, and it can be heartbreaking to see them get scratched or chipped, something that is, unfortunately, a common occurrence. So here are our top tips to keep your bike looking as good as new. Cable rub can be a persistently common problem, particularly up here at the head tube, and also down on the chain stays. It's quite easy to fix. The first method you can use is to apply a protective sticker to any possible area that might be affected. So on this bike, I've actually just peeled one off, but you want to turn the handlebars, and then you'll be able to see where the frame might get rubbed by cables. So clearly at this point here, that is a problem. Clean the area where you're gonna stick the patch on with an alcohol wipe, and then simply fix it on. The second option is something like this, which is a little rubber cable protector. It's significantly softer than the cable, so it should protect your paintwork. And you simply slide it on the cable, and it sits there looking pretty neat, protecting your frame. The next area to look at is down here on the chain stay. So anytime you ride on rough roads, the chain can bounce and start hitting your frame. Or in fact, anytime you take the back wheel out maybe to transport your bike in your car or in a bike bag, then the chain can end up rubbing on here. So again, relatively simple area to protect. You can see this bike already comes with a silicon protector that's just stuck on, much like we've just applied to the head tube. And it's doing a pretty good job, I must say. Although they're inexpensive, there is an even cheaper solution and it involves using electrical tape. If you cut electrical tape in strips, you can place it very neatly on the protected area. To my mind, that looks a little bit pony for a really nice bike. I'll leave it up to you. There is a third option as well, much less common on road bikes much more familiar to mountain bikers, but you can buy neoprene chainstay protectors that then Velcro in place. Pretty heavy duty, but they certainly do the job really well. The areas that we've protected so far should be enough for most people, but if you've got a bit of a penchant for epic gravel riding, then you might wanna go one step further because there are certain areas of the bike that are gonna be really susceptible to stone chips. So the down tube here, and then also the seat tube here. So what you're looking to do again is to apply some clear protective tape that is going to add another barrier against stone chips. Unfortunately though, the kind of stuff that you can buy that's specific to bikes isn't normally big enough. So what you want to look for online is what's called helicopter tape, which is essentially stuff like that on a roll that's designed to protect helicopters. So it's good stuff. And then once you're done with epic gravel riding, you can simply remove it and your frame will be in pristine condition. Finally, one area that may get scratched for people with certain types of pedaling style, which it'd be where your heels come in when you pedal, is the crank just there. Now, unfortunately, there isn't much you can do to stop that getting scuffed if you do pedal heel in. No amount of protective tape is really gonna withstand it. The only thing you could do would be to actually move your cleat position, but this is definitely not something that I would recommend. I would far rather ride my bike with scuffed cranks than not ride my bike because I've got chronic knee injuries. If you did want to go down that route though, you could potentially move your cleats under your shoe towards the inside of the shoe, which would give your heels a bit more clearance and potentially that would still allow you to keep the correct pedaling style for you, but save your cranks. But like I say, there might be one to check with a bike fitter first. Aside from that, the best way to keep your bike looking new is just not to ride it. No, sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I can't say that. The best thing to do is just to take care of it when you're transporting it and you're storing it, because it's at those points when actually it may be it's most susceptible to getting scratched and chipped. Then there is one last pro tip as well. When you're leaning your bike up against a wall or something similar, if you lean it against the rear tire as opposed to your handlebars or your saddle, then actually the bike is more stable and it's less likely to get scratched on the bar tape and the side of the saddle there. Now, for more maintenance videos, if you click just up there, you get straight through to our maintenance playlist. Or for a video about cleat placement, because if you are going to tamper with them, you may want to make sure that you get them back in the right place. Just click down there. Otherwise, subscribe to GCN. Just click on the globe. It'll be somewhere on this screen. Somewhere probably in front of my immaculate bike that's not scratched at all.